hi welcome back to rebecca's travel so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to um, rebecca's uh, lifestyle um hi if you're new here to my channel hi my name's rebecca um please subscribe it is free to subscribe to my uh, channels and um, i upload uh, five times a week on both my travel and lifestyle channel so i love talking about travel and lifestyle and um, today i'm going to be doing a review on dunhoon so let's uh, jump right into it and um, now i stayed in uh, dunhoon and um it uh, does have uh, one or two uh, nightclubs and it does have some bars um but um they didn't seem all that um, appealing for, uh, from the outside uh, for myself and other people but um there's uh lots of nice uh, cafes to ch choose from um I like the rock um cafe um and um there's other ca uh, cafes um again we re at reasonably priced there's also quite a lot of shops and um, charity shops arrange um some banks um like pharmacies like a boots and super drug um and um there was also a morrison supermarket um there's other supermarkets there as well um there's also in dunham um a small cinema um and um the views off the Victorian Pier um, were absolutely lovely. You can get uh, ferries to go to different um, islands uh, from Dunham, uh, from like the Victorian Pier. Um, so it has a nice like seafront um, and a nice promenade. It also... Um, to the other side of Dunhoon has some toilets and um, a park um, which I've shown on the footage video um, again there's a museum um, that you can go in as well and um, and um, like a remains of a uh, Dunhoon uh, castle uh, to walk up to to get some uh, better views if you wanted to um, again if I did stay in Dunhoon again I would vi uh, visit the museum and um, go up up the steps um, um, and to uh, maybe go into uh, one or two uh, shops but um i really um because it looked like rain um which it did rain in the art later on in the afternoon wanted to get the video shot as soon as possible you see um but yes um it's generally um a nice place uh, to go and visit um, you do have to go uh, get to Dunhoom. Uh, you do have to go a f on a ferry, I think, across uh, from Port Glasgow or Groin um, to somewhere further up and then go down to Dunhoom. Um, but uh, you can get to some places in Dunhoon by local boss and um, if you wanted to um as well as uh, you can get to other places by ferry uh to other islands um because again they do 
also island tours as well um and again there's a bandstand um, in Dunhoom which is nice where events can kick, uh, kick off uh, from time to time and there's a market um, every so often um, in a year um, I think it's about once a month so so uh, yes um, I would say in Dunhoom uh, there's a variety of hotels to choose from and bed and breakfasts uh, like self catering like B&Bs um, a range of accommodation uh, to choose from um, it's uh, like um, a pebbly beach kind of thing so um, it's not really a sandy beach um, but so um, what else can I say there's quite a few churches around um, um, to, uh, to see um, so yes um, it is a, pre a pretty town um, to go and visit uh, with plenty of choice of shops and cafes um, which, uh, which which is nice and there's plenty of choices of pubs even though near my hotel there wasn't a, a really a close pub to where I was staying at my hotel um, but apart from that um, there's pubs to go and visit if you wanted to during the day and um, I would like to say um, it has a beautiful scenery around and I would like to say thank you for watching and um, my next uh, video is going to be an improvements updates and more video which is going to come Sunday so uh, please uh, keep watching and stay tuned and thank you and bye for now thank you bye